Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the past, present, future energies for you in love and the person that you might be dealing with. What are the energies between you? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. So take what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirits, angels, guides. Messages, guidance, please, for Aquarius in love. Just Aquarius need to know regarding their person. This reading is for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So just keep that in mind. All right, what's going on in the connection between Aquarius and this other person they're thinking about connecting with at this time? You need to know. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Someone wanting to take action, someone driven, fearless, bold, charismatic, and the Hermit reverse. Yeah, Virgo energy. I feel like this is somebody that um, whatever's going on between you, someone's taking action, someone could be um, coming in. Um, maybe they were reserved or quiet before, but they're not now. Let's see what else we can get. I'm also getting that this is someone that's not really thinking um, through various steps or um, doing a lot of thinking. I feel like they're more focused on making something happen. So let's see what this is about. What else do we need to know for Aquarius? Yeah, Four of Cups, Reverse. Someone's open to an opportunity, open to an idea. Um, oh, there you are, Libra, Justice, Reverse. Queen of Pentacles after that. Four of Cups reverse is almost like someone is giving something another shot or being open-minded. Um, rather than being disinterested, there's renewed interest. However, justice is reversed at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like maybe this was unfair at some point. Maybe you were treated unfairly. Maybe there was a, there's a disbalance here. Let's see. What can you tell me about the Four of Cups reverse okay we have the eight of swords reverse king of pentacles reverse taurus virgo capricorn energy and the eight of swords reverse is again i feel like someone's getting out of their head someone is not overthinking not over analyzing maybe they were reserved and fearful at some point um but they're not now which is interesting because the King of Pentacles is reverse. And I'm almost taking this as someone who doesn't want to take the rational, um, slow approach. Rather than the other meaning for the King of Pentacles, which is really the main meaning. When he's reversed, typically they are not good with finances, or not very stable, don't really have a lot to offer or give someone. But I'm not picking that up. It's almost like someone's neglecting who they usually are in order to get something done. Tell me about this King of Wands. What's this about with the King of Wands? What do we need to know about this King of Wands? Okay, I got three. Two of Swords reverse, the Sun reverse, Page of Wands reverse, interesting. And then the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This King of Wands, I feel, yeah, Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands and Seven of Swords together, they're trying to be very strategic in order to have a new beginning. This is someone that is using a different approach, but why? This could be you, this could be them. Some of you are dealing with a Libra because I keep thinking of Libra and you're the first reading of today, so not sure why I'm thinking so much of Libra, but I have to say that because it's, it's in my, my brain. Um, anyways, so this is someone that's really thinking about a different approach and I think it's because something has not been working out for this person. Um, either they're unhappy or they haven't been able to get something started or initiated here with the Page of Wands reverse. Maybe they, the way that they typically do things is not helping them. It's not bringing them any sort of satisfaction or success. But I still don't understand who this could be. 
What else do we need to know about what's going on in this connection between Aquarius and this other person? What else do we need to know? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is about restoring balance. This is about fixing something. The Lovers is reversed at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. So there could have been a separation here or a disconnect between you and another person. Okay, so let's get some insight in to how you're feeling, thinking about each other. Do I want these? No, I'll just leave these up here. Let's look at how you are thinking, feeling about each other. What are your energies? What are the energies between Aquarius and this other person? What do we need to know? Aquarius, I'm going to have you on one side and your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Tell me about Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius and the energies they are bringing to this connection? What do we need to know? Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups. So you are very thoughtful right now. Uh, maybe you're trying to figure something out. Uh, maybe you have a lot of options to consider. Uh, Ten of Cups. I feel like you're thinking about your future. Future happiness. How to get this future happiness. Yeah, Knight of Wands. So I feel like you are thinking about what to do. Now, the Five of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be wondering um, if you could trust someone. Or you could be dealing with a situation where someone is not playing fair or taking advantage um, and I feel like you are trying to figure this out. Um, others of you, I'm kind of picking up that whatever you're going after here with the Knight of Wands or whatever you desire, someone else might not be happy with that. I feel like this choice that you are thinking about with the Seven of Cups, you are wanting to maybe just go after it. Whatever this is, maybe you don't want to think about it as much. Maybe you're the one that doesn't want to think about something too much. Some of you are confused, but I don't know why. Let's see. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. What can you tell me about this Seven of Cups for Aquarius? What's the Seven of Cups about, Spirit, for Aquarius? King of Cups, Reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy, Knight of Pentacles, Reverse, at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's something that's not happening here with the Knight of Pentacles, Reverse. Maybe an offer is delayed. Maybe something's taking too long. Uh, and I feel with the King of Cups, Reverse, this could be you feeling <clears throat> a bit overwhelmed emotionally disappointed sad <coughs> i think aquarius for the aquarius that i'm speaking to and feel free to confirm that in the comments i feel like you have not been happy for some time and it's like you want to turn that around tell me about this knight of wands why is the knight of wands here why is the Knight of Wands here for Aquarius? Yeah, Justice Reverse. Something hasn't been fair to you or hasn't been um, right. And perhaps now you're trying to turn this around. Queen of Cups Reverse. Yeah, this hasn't. And you, didn't you have a reading recently where the title was something like, this wasn't fair to you. I feel like this is a continuation of that reading. So if this resonates for you, then check out that reading. But I think you're ready for something new. The Fool, yeah. You want to head somewhere new, in a new direction, take a leap of faith. There could be somebody that comes into your life that starts like a hot romance or a quick, something that starts quickly with the Knight of Wands, someone that you're very attracted to. You might be giving someone a chance. Seven of Cups could be an indicator of you dating, you know, meeting other people, things like that. But I think the reason you're thinking about this is because something has not been working for you or you are 
heartbroken or disappointed and it's making you kind of think about trying something new. Some of you could be getting out there, you know, trying to put yourself out there dating wise. You know, you're taking a risk. Okay, tell me about the person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with here or they're connecting with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this other person? Six of Swords reverse. What do we need to know about this other person? Two of Wands reverse. Five of Pentacles. So they're not doing very well. This Two of Wands reverse. Sometimes I think of this Two of Wands reverse as someone that's unable to choose a path. They want to have their cake and eat it too. This person feels like they're out in the cold. They could be struggling, feeling like something is missing in their life, feeling like they've experienced a loss with the Five of Pentacles. Six of Swords Reverse could be a card about a return or a card about not being able to leave a situation. So let's see. What's the Six of Swords Reverse about? What do we need to know about the Six of Swords Reverse Spirit? What do we need to know about the Six of Swords Reverse? Seven of Wands, blockages, challenges, fighting back, resistance, defiance. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. Three of Wands reverse. So I feel like this person should have left a situation, but hasn't been able to or can't. Three of Wands reverse, Two of Wands reverse. I feel like this is someone that has waited a long time to make a decision or keeps waiting. The Empress Reverse, yikes. Empress Reverse is typically um, a card about not being able to create or manifest. It could be a card about um, um, a feminine energy that's upset, hard to deal with. Also, the Empress Reverse for me as a reader, it could, could signify a card of could signify someone trying to plant seeds in the wrong garden and so they don't grow. So they're, you know, instead of manifesting abundance, you're blocked or unable to. Let me get one more. The star, there you are Aquarius, showing up to your own reading. Oh. Um, by the way, this is the Northern Animal Tarot and I love it. Uh, the star, hope, healing, faith. This person, hmm. This involves you. They could have been kept you waiting and maybe given you false hope or want you to trust them, have faith in them. Tell me about the five of pentacles. What happened here? Why is the five of pentacles here? Why is the five of pentacles here? Two of cups. Yeah, this person didn't, something's going on with your person. I feel like they're distance, distant from the person they care about. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles reverse. It could be that they have some sort of attachment. Some of you could be dealing with a third party. Nine of Swords. Anxiety, fear, guilt. This person, there's a reason why they haven't left their situation, but that reason does not make things better. So for example, if someone, it's almost like it's an excuse, a justification, but it doesn't change the outcome. Let's see, let's look at the energies between you a little bit closer. Can we get some insight into how Aquarius and this person are thinking, feeling about each other. Tell me about Aquarius. What are their energies in this connection? Tell me about Aquarius. Burdened heart. Okay, can we get one more for Aquarius? 
unexpected event. So you experienced a tower moment, something unexpected, some sort of upheaval. Restoring balance and new beginnings. Yeah, I feel like your person might be wanting to fix this or you are thinking about restoring balance for yourself, having a new beginning for yourself. There could have been a separation because parting ways is at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about the person Aquarius is connecting with. Oops, whoa, that one wanted to fly out. Balancing act, okay. Tell me about this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. Walking away, far apart. Ooh, so there could be, there's definitely distance between you. But you could have walked away or they walked away. What's at the bottom of the deck? Reach out, contact, exchange, touch. Take the initiative to reach out. So this person, possibly there's no contact between you. There's distance between you. Um, there could be a reason for that. Uh, there's a, you have a tower, so could have been a separation. Someone walked away. This person could have been juggling two situations, two people, or going back and forth about something with balancing act. Tell me more about Aquarius. Tell me more. Message of concern. So you found something out, Aquarius. You learned about something or you got some sort of message that you didn't want to get or brought some sort of revelation out. Tell me about the person Aquarius is dealing with. Judication. They're waiting on you to make a decision of some sort to accept their offer perhaps. I have gift at the bottom of the deck, but then I have imprisonment. So how is this person giving you anything if they're stuck? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not really crazy about that energy. Let me put this. Okay, let me get a secret moon. Can we get some more insight for Aquarius and this other person? What do we need to know? I'm working on myself. Okay. Tell me for, um, tell, oh, this could be you. This kind of fell on your side. Tell me more for Aquarius. What do we need to know about Aquarius? What do we need to know? I screwed up. I have changed. I'm working on myself. I feel like this is what this person is telling you. This could be how you feel. Maybe you feel like you made a mistake and are trying to improve your life. Your feelings could have changed. Tell me about this person that Aquarius is, has, or will be dealing with. I regret what happened and I'm struggling. Yeah, they're definitely struggling because they have the five of pentacles. So they're having regrets. Okay. Okay, can we get one more? For Aquarius. Can we get one more? Tell me about Aquarius. Do I need to know about Aquarius? Hyena. I feel like you, the fact that you're hurt, you don't want others to see that. This person could have made you mess with your confidence. You don't feel very confident or you don't feel like yourself. Yeah, you've learned a lot about yourself because of this person, Aquarius. You are probably able to express yourself better, express your needs better. Um, I think you're also focusing on yourself. Tell me about this other person. Tell me about this other person. Zebra and the oyster. So they are clammed shut. So I feel like this person, um, you don't really know what they're thinking or feeling. But this person cannot, it's, it's like they cannot help but be interested in you. They just can't help, I don't know, keeping tabs on you, looking in your direction. 
because you're different. They feel that you're different with the zebra. And maybe they've changed also because of this connection. But I don't think from what I see here, I don't see any action from this person. Let me get one more. What is this person's next actions? What are their next actions? This person's next actions. Ace of Swords. So this person's going to possibly communicate. There's going to be some sort of truth that they share with you. We'll look closer at that in the extended. But I feel like that's that's the that's as far as action goes for this person. You're ready for something new. I feel like you're thinking about freedom, uh, a new journey, a new cycle. What else is out there for me? What else can I do? Um, what you know? What what's next for me? I think a lot of you are also open to new love coming in. Tell me if that's the case in the comments. 